This new generation of BMW M5 brings a lot of firsts to the famous nameplate, such as all-wheel drive and an automatic gearbox. To test the new M5, BMW brought us to Palm Springs, California to test it on track while following instructors. Alright, we're good to roll out on track here. Uh, first thing we got is this long back straight. We'll try to. It took a few laps to become acclimated to the new BMW M5. It has so much explosive power that it took me a little while to understand how much power I could apply without killing myself. Purists who feel that the all-wheel drive system may ruin the M5 fear not. Its steering is the best it's been since the E39 generation, and its chassis is so sweet it'll make you forget that it's a two-ton all-wheel drive luxury sedan. Turn. Strength and accelerate now to the right hand side. On track, the new M5 is a blast. With the ability to switch between a serious high performance machine and a tire smoking hooligan with just the press of a button. Switch around to the back side by the cone. Straight and accelerate out. We didn't have a lot of time to track the new M5. With only about six or seven laps, but it did give us a good chance to explore and test the new 600 horsepower monster at at least as close as I could get to its limits. And while trying to explore the limits of the new M5, there were a few times where I misunderstood just how much power it has and I found myself sideways coming out of corners. Thankfully, the new M5's chassis is so balanced that it's easy to catch. The only drive mode configuration we were allowed was four-wheel drive sport with traction set to MDM. Thankfully, in this setup, the M5 will slide gracefully and smoothly without letting you kill yourself. It also makes a great noise. It's not the violent roar of an AMG V8 or the high-strung wail of an E60 M5's V10, but it sounds good, angry, and muscular. Sure, some of what you hear comes through the speakers, but if it sounds good, who really cares? More importantly though, the BMW M5 is engaging again. It's fun and it's exciting and it involves you in the experience. It's no longer anodyne or clinical. BMW M seems to be back. It's no longer just brute force and tenacious grip though. There's delicacy and balance and genuine driver enjoyment to be had with this new M5. After spending a day with the new M5 on track, I'm happy to report that not only is it good, but it's probably the best M5 yet.